Okay, you have just started a new candida diet and you are starting to have headaches, you're starting to be, feel brain fog, you actually have a bit of anxiety. And you go online and people say this could be candida die off. So if you are wondering if the new symptom that you are experiencing is candida die off, stay tuned because in this video here, we're going to use real science to define what candida die off actually is and is it the same thing that you're experiencing right now. And as we always do on this channel here, what we're gonna use are two things. Number one, true science. Number two, the whiteboard. So come along with me. So on the whiteboard, I drawn three of the four different forms of candida. And if you are watching my video, you need to know one thing. This is the video that goes very, very deep because it's the only way to actually defeat candida once and for all. If you want quick solution, if you want easy shortcuts, which do not exist, change the video, go to another channel and like listen to the lies because this is the only thing that is actually true. So stay with me. The three forms of candida that I'm gonna discover right now. The first one is yeast candida. Yeast candida is harmless. Actually, some uh, scientists actually think this could be even beneficial. So this is not something that you should be concerned of right now. But when candida goes into the hyphal, especially true hyphal form or true fungal form, this is the moment in which you will need to be concerned because when candida is in this form here, this is the moment in which you, got to get, you start to get some symptoms. Let's say candida is in the vaginal area. You start to get the itching, you start to have the burning, you start to have the pain. All of this is when candida is already in the true fungal form. Finally, there is another form of candida called chlamydospores. This is the form of candida that candida uses when it goes into protection mode. So when you start to work against candida, when you enter a diet, you start to take antifungals and so on, candida or some of the candida will go into this form here. Now, why am I introducing all of this in a video on the, on the symptoms of the candida day off? Because you need to understand what's going on in here. So once you start a new sugar-free diet, new anti-candida diet, and maybe you also start to take antifungals. Now, some of the colonies that are in the true hyphal form will start to die. So you will get what you're trying to do. You will start to actually kill candida. But let me clarify one thing which is important that basically no gurus tells you about this point here, which is, yes, it is true that some candida will die, but some candida will go into the chlamydospores, which is a form of candida that candida uses when it is exposed to stress. In this form of candida here, candida will be much more resilient to all of the changes that you're gonna make. So often, this is the reason why candida goes away for a while and it comes back, away for a while and it comes back, okay? So you need to understand that it is true that your diet and your antifungal will put candida into the death mode, so you will start to kill some of the candida. But that's not enough. In a real program against candida, these chlamydospores, they also must be addressed. But let's assume you're actually starting to kill all of the candida. Now, when candida dies, you need to remember one thing, that candida is a microorganism with its own metabolism. So candida will have its own toxin, candida will release something in, into your body. So these toxins here are going to be released by candida as candida dies. Now, your body is perfectly capable to deal with toxins and you do that all the time. Like as an example, I live in London, which is a very polluted city. Every single day I need to walk into London where there is toxic air. Now, what's gonna protect me from developing all of the issues regarding the air of London is my liver because the liver is gonna take the toxin in, detoxify the toxin so you can excrete it either when you urinate or you defecate. So in this scenario here, your liver will start to protect you against candida. But if you start to get die-off symptoms, these die-off symptoms are also called Herxheimer reaction. Why? Because in this scenario here, there is the possibility that if you do things in the wrong way and you start to kill candida too fast, your liver may not be able to, to keep up with all of the amount of toxins that you are releasing, meaning that toxin will overtake your capacity of the liver to detoxify them. At this point here, you will be experiencing die-off symptoms. 
and at this point here, you will be having all of the diff different symptoms that we will discuss right now. So, what are the die of symptoms that people put uh, all the time and, and online? So, often when you go online, people will attribute to like candida die off every kind of symptom that they are experiencing even after six months that they are on the candida diet. The truth is that these are the symptoms that are really scientifically associated with the candida die off. So first of all, the candida die off should disappear within three to seven days. It shouldn't be around for longer unless you have made some mistakes in your journey against candida, which is possible, okay? What kind of symptoms we will experience? You will experience loose bowel, you will experience headache, anxiety, muscular and body pain, and also brain fog. These are all possible symptoms that you can get out of the candida die-off. Why? Because your body is experiencing all of these symptoms here, the body is experiencing all of these issues here, because your liver cannot keep up with the toxins which are released from, the, from candida from candida dying, okay? So all of this is something that you need to remember. And please don't buy into the hype of the candida community, which tells you that basically everything is candida die off. If you have symptoms in a candida diet, after two months you are on the candida diet, I think you better go and see your doctor because this is probably not die off. These are new symptoms and new symptoms need to be addressed from a real doctor, not the internet, okay? Online, uh, private groups, uh, unqualified advice, Googling thing, this is not real medical advice. So please go and see your doctor in this scenario over here. Now, what can you do in this scenario here? Because uh, let me explain something to you. Like after almost 10 years as a nutritional therapist, one of the bane of the existence of therapists and doctors is people giving up on their program. And why do people give up mostly in the candida program? It's because once they start to get the die off symptoms, they start to feel bad, they have headache, they don't feel good, they feel the cravings, they give up, they go back doing whatever they're doing, candida is happy, candida stops dying. Now at that point, candida will stop dying and release toxins and everything is back to square one. So not understanding the idea of the, the, the die off will be one of the main reasons why 90% of people cannot follow a candida diet for a reasonable amount of time. To actually kill true hyphal candida and turn candida back into yeast candida, which this period here is around one year. And this is the reason why in my videos I go very deep because you need to develop what is called deep understanding. Unfortunately, this has been proven. Try it for yourself if you don't want to trust me. Try and look for unqualified advice. Try and look for the miracle remedies. In six months, I will see you again on this video here, and you will be telling me probably you were right when you said you need to develop deep understanding. So by under developing deep understanding, you realize a few things. No shortcuts, no miracle remedies. I need to really put a lot of effort because in Candida, the, the effort that you put in when the program is well designed equals good results. So if you want to have these good results, please, in the video description to develop your deep understanding, there is a four part educational videos. You just need to click the link and you can access immediately the four educational videos. If you want to take it to the next stage, you can buy directly my anti-candida video course, which is called Beat the Beast. It's seven and a half hours and it goes through all of the steps, giving you a level of understanding of the yeast, which will be unmatched. And in there, I will explain to you all of the steps of the protocol, what to do, what not to do like how to survive the holidays, how to survive people telling you to eat sugary food, how to survive people telling you to drink alcohol all the time. So all of that is in Beat the Beast. But just by looking at this video here, let me tell you something. This is valuable information. This is like literally hundreds of pounds of information that I'm giving you for free. So let's say that here we are discussing that your liver goes down because it's being flooded with toxins. So clearly something very, very important to do in a real program against candida will be to support the liver. So one of the steps would be how can I support the liver very, very strongly? Another thing is if candida is releasing all of these toxins, is there anything I can take to actually make these toxins less dangerous? As an example, antioxidants will help you to do that. Then, 
Is it true that the die-off is inescapable and I'm going to experience the die-off no matter what? The truth is it's not written in stone. It depends how good is your program. Clearly, if you start your diet against candida with water fasting and candida start to die and die and die extremely fast, then yes, you're going to get die-off. But the problem is that a candida diet should last for around one year. So as you see the point, if I give you a diet which is unsustainable, you're going to give up. So the diet must be sustainable, done on a day-to-day -day basis for a period of time which is around one year. Now, I'm giving you so much good information right now, so which I'm going to stop everything else by the product in the video description. Please, before leaving this video, read the full disclaimer in the video description on YouTube or in the attached document on Facebook. Thank you very much.